Yeah. So uh, each of the judges had their favorites, but they're going to come up and uh, announce each of the winning teams in each category. And we're going to start with Android with Angela. Um, first off, just want to say we were all really impressed with all of the teams that came up here. And what you guys have done in eight weeks is really, really damn impressive. So let's just start with a round of applause for everybody who presented. That was awesome. We had a particularly uh, strong debate around the Android category, so we have we have an honorable mention, which goes to Strength Coach. What? We really liked your just total use of the Android animation framework, like in, out, scrolling pictures, kettlebells dropping from the sky. It was just it was a really creative, fun app to use, and you could see like users really getting into it. So great, great job. Then our winner goes to Swipe Swap. Oh, could Swipe Swap team please come up? So this is a, a mobile development class, and what we really liked about this was that you've identified a market, which is really big, where people don't really use mobile, and mobile can be used to eliminate so much of the friction in the selling process. Like you identified, just take a picture, upload it, find people around you, so we could really see you expanding the market with making a really cool mobile app in this category. So congratulations. All right guys, uh, one more round of applause for uh, Swag Swap. And you guys are going to stay up here awkwardly while we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So uh, next up, we're going to do the design category, and uh, we'll have um, uh, we'll have Vicky announce the winners. Hi. Uh, first of all, I'd like to echo Angela. Um, what you guys have done is impressive. Uh, I was particularly impressed on the design category because. Um, I mean, learning how to code in eight weeks, I don't know how you guys have done it. So really, really impressive. Congratulations to everybody and to the teachers for uh, all the effort and patience that you probably have shown throughout this program. Um, similarly to the previous category, it was also quite hard to choose which one was the best, um, especially because the design was so fantastic in all of you guys. So I don't know if it has to do with the fact that you're all awesome designers. Um, so, uh, the one that we'd like to mention as, a, as an honor, uh, similar to the previous category, is the climbs. Uh, I don't know where the, the ladies are, but uh, it, was, it was fantastic. Um, very gr good product, great design. Uh, I really like the data-driven approach, uh, the problem solving on the product side. Um, the, the overall thought process of uh, how technology can actually uh, improve an outdoor sport, even the, the small details like you save it because you don't have mobile uh, connectivity where you are. So it was, it was really, really good. Congrats. Um, the, the winner of this category is the, um, I don't think I can pronounce it correctly, um, Taka? Oka? Talk? Congratulations. We felt that it was ex extremely creative. Uh, we felt that it was a new way of writing music and creating music, like for all of us old people, that we were told piano. Maybe we should be told uh, Siri. Uh, so um, from that perspective, we thought it was really, really good. So congratulations again. Uh, okay, so now we have the uh, final category. Uh, it's going to be iOS, uh, presented by Sebastian. Uh, pretty soon. But let's give another round of applause <laughs> for our fantastic team. All right, and here's Sebastian. Okay, so uh, in the iOS category, we uh, 
wanted to give an honorable mention to uh, Walking Buddy, which we thought was a clever way to use the Apple Watch. Um, it has that really simple interaction mode that you need for that kind of device. I thought it's also good at made use of SMS for, for communicating, because that's really the most reliable way to send data between devices still today. And um, that's definitely like the right way to go with this. Um, but then the, uh, the winner of the iOS category is the Preto app. <laughs> so this, a photo, photo sharing like this has been tried by so many, so many companies in so many different ways, and it's all about how you do the interaction, how you manage to assemble these collections, because as everybody knows, it's super painful to create lists of friends to share things to, and it's super painful to curate photos. Uh, and I think having this, like, semi-automated mode to automatically co collect photos and share them with people is definitely like, it, it's, a, it's a big step forward in, their, uh, in a space that needs some more innovation. Thanks. Okay, then uh, Nathan's gonna, well, first off, final round of applause for our summer 2015 Copath Someday winner. All right, so one thing uh, is I just wanna thank everybody who made this possible. I actually, me and Tim did surprisingly little to prepare for this event, uh, which is actually amazing because in the early days we did everything ourselves. So I wanna thank, first of all, just really quickly, uh, our sponsors, Lyft, Andreessen Horowitz, Fox, Y Combinator. I want to thank Catherine Maloney for organizing almost this entire event. Uh, she did an amazing job. I want to thank Mario and Gwen. I want to thank Alyssa and Amanda from Andreessen Horowitz. I want to thank Katie from Lyft and everybody else, whether it's the volunteers, the mentors, the alumni, the graders, and all of the current students for kicking ass and completing the course. So let's give everybody a big round of applause. Seriously, uh, thanks to everybody who made this possible.